Okay, so I finally managed to get Reborn OS on the Megatronics R58X Pro and uh, I just thought I'd show how to do it because it's actually very different than I'm used to. So I'm running Windows 11 on my little Melee Mini PC and you can see this USB cable is connected to the USB-C input on the Mechatronics. So Mechatronics sent me some download links which I'll put in the description and the one I need is this one because I've got the R58X Pro. So let's copy that link and open that in a browser and you just click on download. I've already downloaded it and it's on my desktop. So everything you should need is in this file. So if we unzip that, so let's just drag that whole folder over to here. And I can delete this one now. So in here, we need to unzip this one. And we just pop it in here. And now I can delete this one. And then open the arcade dev tool and just drag that in. And there are some instructions here on a PDF if you get stuck. So I can delete this now. Now, if you've already flashed an operating system to your Mechatronics board, uh, you'll already have the driver assistant, which is available from the Mechatronics website. So I won't go through that bit. Let's go to the RK Dev tool and open that up. And with the Mechatronics powered up, you need to press the left button. There's these little tiny sunk buttons, which I'm using these little tools from. Um, so basically you need to press and hold that and then just tap the right one and then let go. And almost immediately the screen should say found one loader device. Now we need to click right by address. Right click anywhere in the middle here and load config. And you'll find that in this dev tool folder. So if I go back a bit, so this is the main folder. Go into the dev tool folder and then the one they asked for in the instructions is emmc.cfg. I didn't have that, so I used this rock 5 b one and hit open and OK. Now we need to click on the right hand side here in this green square, just left click. And then we need to find the bin file, which is also in this uh, main folder that we've unzipped somewhere. If I go back, yeah, here it is bin and open. Then we need to click on this square on the right hand side and we need to find the operating system. Here it is, Reborn OS, which we've unzipped and hit open and then hit run. And if everything's gone correctly, it should install and then reboot the Mechatronics. You'll hear a little click when it's done. Okay, so you can see it says download image OK, so that's all done. So now if I unplug the HDMI from the back of my little mini PC and pop this in the HDMI out, we should have Reborn OS. And we have. Okay, so let's do the install online. And let's go for my favorite Linux desktop, KDE Plasma. And we want backend system, display, and Wayland. The Reborn OS setup program is about to make changes to your disk in order to set up Reborn OS 22.12.05. And we'll come back when all that's done. Okay, so let's restart the system into KDE Plasma. Okay, so, oh, we don't have Wayland in here. And I did read that KDE Plasma works on Wayland. Okay, let's log in anyway. And you get the Reborn OS startup. Let's just close that. And you can see if I press the Windows key, we get the familiar menu. And if we start typing, we can go to global theme and we can change this. Let's try breeze dark and apply. Yeah, very nice. So if I log out, let's see if we can get Wayland uh, working on this. Maybe it is only the Ubuntu build, uh, which I showed in this video. Yeah, normally, when you click here, uh, especially if you start typing, no, there's no other options. And I was pleased to see that the ETA Prime video recently on the Rock Pi 5 showing PC games on ARM 
uh, with Steam is available for this board because Munker has made it available for the R58X 4G which is the same as this Pro model. So I guess I'll be trying that next. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.